So this part of the exhibition is dedicated to Lagos. And Lagos has a very different and distinct uh, identity within uh, African fashion. It is because of Nigeria's wealth, because of oil, um, there's a lots of money and there's obviously a big market for fashion. Um, West Africans' love of dressing up as well is reflected in the fashion industry, which you can call it a fashion industry in Lagos. Um, and because of Nigeria's wealth, because of the oil, um, there's lots of creative industries that are around in Lagos. Uh, they have the biggest film industry, sorry, the third biggest film industry in the world. It's called Nollywood. Um, and there's all these creative people working within uh, Lagos and wider. Uh, and one of the people that we featured is called Yedwa. Uh, and he has a shop called Stranger in Lagos. And he's selling clothes to the creative people within Lagos. And he was stocking brands such as Comme des Garçons, um, etc. And then he's gradually introduced more local designers. In the exhibition, one of the quotes we use actually, because it's a very traditional society, um, that within African society you are either a lawyer, an engineer, engineer solicitor, or you are a failure. Um, and that really, that idea is beginning to change and fashion and the creative industries are beginning to see, be seen within wider African societies actually viable careers. Um, Yegwa, even though he has his shop, Stranger, that is absolutely dedicated to um, being a hub for the creative industries in Lagos, uh, he studied science at university and lots of the designers that you see across Lagos um, have all been to universities that, and they've all studied that very traditional, very academic discipline and gone into these businesses um, and really fashion has been a sideline that has gradually grown and become a full-time occupation. <laughs>